So, welcome on board Formosa, 60 meter, 2015 Benetti, six uh, guest areas, owner's deck, elevator from the guest area all the way to the bridge deck. We have a uh, whirlpool, we have an observation deck, we have many, many spaces. Which are the best? I let you decide. Come on in, please. Interior is uh, done by uh, Sino. He uh, designed the complete interior, picked the, the art, picked everything to match together, to give a warm, cozy, relaxed feeling on the boat. So this is one of the, the examples that uh, Sino picked. It is a prehistoric piece of wood which turned into stone to have both natural and eternal at the same time. So you will see throughout the boat, it's uh, the earth tones, it's calm, it's easy on the eye, it's cozy. It's unique because there's nothing off the shelf ever what you can buy in a shop. It's all handmade and designed. Uh, we have the saloon here. Uh, they wanted to have uh, different places where not one big open space, but several uh, smaller spaces. Let me show you to the uh, dining room. Here we have an, uh, the formal dining room as it's called. Also the art matches uh, with the boat. The chandelier has been designed, the table, everything. Uh, everything what you see here uh, will stay on board. Okay, let's uh, go further and show you the main lobby of the boat when there's a side entrance. We have the elevator going from the guest decks all the way up to the, um, to the bridge deck. We show that, uh, you will see that later. We got the matching uh, artworks uh, here in the lobby. And then we go into our two VIP cabins, which are on the main deck, through a little lobby here, which is used as a game room by the kids, uh, some conferencing by adults. It's a nice uh, private area if you want to be alone for a minute. We have two sizes here. When we were building the boat, because it's an, uh, it was specially built for the, uh, for the, uh, the current owner, we want to have a lot of natural light in the boat. That was the, one of the briefs, big large windows, uh, so that you have uh, natural lights everywhere. If you are at anchor, you wake up, you look outside straight away. These VIPs, they have wooden bathtubs, uh, tailor-made for the boat. Let's have a look at the other one on the starboard side. It's slightly smaller size, but still uh, very generous if you compare it to the total size of the boat. Same has the bathtubs, the guest staterooms downstairs. They have only walk-in showers and I uh, suggest uh, you're going to look at them. With long-term uh, world cruising in mind, we want to have give the, the, the guests the opportunity to uh, retract themselves in, their, uh, in the cabin. So we have a little sitting area. We have an, uh, a television set behind uh, the artwork. We want to have the very large windows for the natural lights in the cabins. It works uh, very well for the, for the cruising and the guests. Also very uh, popular features uh, for charter. Uh, the boat uh, charters very well. There's enough space. We'll see that when we go to the main deck. So we have two of these. Uh, they mirror, as it's called. They, uh, they're exactly the same, uh, the same layout. Slightly different uh, color pattern, but basically the same. Let's go to the, the last one we have down here. This one is uh, with the two single, uh, the single beds and a uh, so-called pullman. That is a bed that's coming out of the, the wall. If you have children who wants to stay together in one cabin, again, the large bathroom, uh, walk-in showers. We go upstairs now. Okay, let me show you a very unique feature of this boat. It's the completely private owner's deck. Um, you rarely see it on boats of this size. It is an, uh, we can close this off and uh, no one can enter. We go into the office. After that we see the, uh, the sleeping area and, uh, and the private uh, outside deck area. Here you got a private office of the owner. He's working here. We got an, a video screen coming up. We have the, uh, the videos to do the, the Zoom meetings. Entering the master bedroom with a television coming out of the ceiling if you would like to uh, watch television. The uh, 
Steinway uh, speaker systems that we have on board uh, everywhere will pop up. And if you just want to enjoy the, the view with the large windows, we, uh, we got them as big as we could. You can see here we have an, uh, a private terrace, which is also, again, no one can see it when you are as an owner on this uh, terrace and then do your private uh, meetings and uh, it goes, we can go, we can enter them from uh, these sliding doors. Let me show you the, uh, the private terrace. Like I mentioned, this is completely shut off. It's only for the owner and no one will see or uh, bother you. The sun shades, the beautiful views uh, when at anchor or cruising. Owner spends a lot of time here just reading, be by himself, enjoying this beautiful boat. A wooden bathtub, custom made for the boat. Owner likes the, the natural feeling, uh, which we uh, mentioned earlier. Let's have a look at the, uh, the main saloon. You can see as well the idea of space that we uh, created with the um, with Sino, the perfect layout on the boat. It seems so uh, a simple feature, but to build the boat, to get this feeling of really your private uh, vri private areas and the whole walk through. Again, pieces of art handpicked by the designer. And we enter now the full beam uh, master saloon. Uninterrupted views in the, with the large windows again, a lot of natural daylight. Uh, this can be turned into a an, uh, an cinema room. Owner likes his cinema. Behind this, uh, this artwork there is a huge screen. We have a professional uh, beamer coming out of the ceiling over there crew entry so they can service you without interruption, without, uh, without bothering you. A little table to play cards and then we go to the outside dining area. We have a round up table here setting up for 14 guests with an, uh, a lazy Susan as it's called to, uh, to serve everyone right. We have outside air conditioning because the, the boat is, uh, is often uh, as well in, in areas where it is uh, very humid, very hot. So we can enclose this area, have the air condition uh, go on, get the temperature uh, in a more ambient way and uh, enjoy even longer staying outside. And uh, let's go up. Welcome to one of our two sun decks. We have a big whirlpool here. That was the biggest we could install during the construction. Owner wants to swim in the morning. He has his little uh, counter-current um, machine, which uh, allows that. Over there we have a big slide to enjoy the water uh, and the toys we have on board. We have a ton of them. We have several jet skis, a limousine tender. We have the stand-up skis, we have the sea bobs. In the back there we have a bar with a barbecue, teppanyaki plate, day toilet over there and the sun areas of the sun deck. We have a sound system in the, uh, in the railing to throw in some parties with a very nice uh, Steinway uh, speaker system that we have installed on board because the owner likes his music and his parties. Okay, so here we are at the last of our outside areas. It's the observation deck. We have, an, uh, as you can see, some cozy seatings. We have uh, the, the glass uh, railings, which give you an absolutely stunning view when on your way or at anchor in the bay somewhere. Uh, we have some gym equipment that can be uh, set up here, depending on what uh, the owner or the charter wants, and spend some uh, time in complete privacy. Okay, let now we uh, let me show you. A little bit the, the crew area, the galley, etc. Behind this discrete door in the, the main dining area, we enter to a pantry where the, and then to the galley where the, uh, the two chefs are working 24-7 to, uh, to make sure that the guests are getting their, uh, their meals as it should be. Ah, they are working on it now. Hello. Let's see what we have. These are the guys, of course, it's a completely professionally equipped uh, galley with, uh, with the top chef uh, who's uh, working here, uh, decided which uh, 
which uh, equipment we want to have in the cabin. And this is a 24-7 operation to make sure the guests uh, are served uh, well. It's, uh, it's all Michelin star uh, food, of course. Let's go to the um, crew mess and see uh, where these guys take their rest. So we are here down in the, in the crew mess. As I might have mentioned, we have 15 crew uh, on this ship to make sure that uh, everything is run in a proper way. So now we are on the, the lower deck or the tank deck as it's called. We have uh, a lot of storage here. We have an, uh, a large laundry which is uh, turning 24-7 as you can imagine with uh, our 12 to 14 guests and 15 crew members. There's a lot of stuff to be done here. All uh, the best uh, machine equipment. Okay, one of these uh, unique features of this boat, because it's a world traveler, uh, we have a known workshop. And, and what's a known workshop? It is uh, you have your spare parts on board, but sometimes uh, you have not an, uh, the spare parts that you need if you're uh, in the breakdown in remote areas. So we have this machine on board which uh, can make our own spare parts. So it might not look uh, that impressive, but it's a very, very interesting thing on this uh, boat, which is basically a uh, large uh, world expedition cruiser. We go to the engine room, follow me around. So we are here in the control room, in the engine room, where we have our engines, uh, engineers uh, uh, monitoring 24-7 uh, uh, the technical parts of the ship. We, uh, we have a fully integrated uh, system for trouble-free uh, cruising uh, for many, many more years to come. Well, I'm uh, Julian, I'm the chief engineer on board Motor Yacht Formosa. And uh, that's five years I'm here now. Um, I have a merchant navy background. So we have MTU uh, engine on board and um, we are still under warranty. So we do have to keep a very high maintenance uh, with the recommendation of the MTU. I think it's really good to keep using your engine, make them run. Yes, there is a lot of hour on it, but as long as you do all the maintenance in the recommendation made by the manufacturer, it's really working well. Most important thing is to try to make them work, run and use them. It is what they are made for. There are many owners uh, and many persons who could fit this, uh, this boat. Uh, if you take for example the current owner, which is a family man, he likes to travel, he's also a businessman who likes to entertain his, uh, his, uh, his guests and his uh, business partners. So you have uh, a, a boat which can either throw uh, a big party with 100 people or a small uh, dinner with 12 people. We have a lot of the toys and the tenders as they are called, uh, the jet skis, we have a big slide. You can entertain your guests and, uh, and your family in many, many different ways. Besides that, if I may add, uh, the boat has been around the world now about four times. And uh, I think a very uh, important feature is the safety uh, of the boat at sea. She is uh, completely silent, she is uh, well stabilized, uh, the maintenance is something you've never seen on, an, uh, on a vessel uh, like this. The proof is in the pudding, she's been uh, from Australia to Hawaii, she's been in Polynesia, she's been in uh, Alaska, she's been in Japan, she's in Southeast Asia without one uh, day off uh, time due to uh, the, the perfect maintenance of the crew and, uh, and the owner. Thank you for joining us uh, on uh, this tour of our 60 meter Formosa. Uh, it was a pleasure, I hope you will uh, have enjoyed it. If you want uh, more inquiries or you want to organize a visit, you can call me, the details are uh, here under. Thank you very much.